Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. We got a cool subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our cool subject for today? Our cool subject for today is selling and having to, or if you want to, work multiple jobs, sales jobs. Uh, maybe you've got a part-time sales gig selling something. Uh, so what we're going to do is just dive right on into it. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. You know, I've been in sales since the 80s and for in one form or capacity. So on this platform, I always share what goes on in my life, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all, okay? Because I'm a real salesperson. So when you're watching these videos, you're actually seeing somebody who's in the field who's an actual salesperson, okay? A lot of times uh, when we're in sales, people talk about a lot of the hoorah, the making the money, honey, and, and getting paid. Well, I'm going to tell you what, as a salesperson, I'm going to tell you what, it's nice to have multiple ways to get paid, okay? Now, you may have a good sales job. I hope it's working out for you. Uh, if you have your own business like I do, I've got multiple businesses, and I've got different streams of income, and I'm going to tell you what, Having that capability of having multiple streams of income, it can be kind of uh, kind of exciting. It can be very exciting. You know, I'd sell life insurance, I do mortgage protection, uh, help people with their insurance, and I also have a notary business. So it's kind of like I got all these different hats and also help other people with their sales businesses. And I get kind of, I don't know about you, kind of a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little bit frustrated because, see, sometimes, you know, I'm being pulled in multiple ways. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this video with you is you may be a salesperson or a person who wants to do more than one thing. So I can suggest that, well, you get really good at one thing and then learn the other opportunities and do it on the side. I, like I said, for myself, I sell real estate, and uh, it's kind of a it's, it's a cool business that I'm in, but it takes time. You have to cultivate your customers. You have to work with people who may have credit issues. You may work with customers who maybe or may be ready to sell, but they're on the cusp of it, or they're wanting to buy, they're on the cusp of it. So you have to look at a lot of different houses and so forth. And the market right now here in Jacksonville is kind of crazy. It's all over the place. So my mind is like, okay, well, what do I do to make money? I need to make money. And when you're not making money, because remember, guys, we work on this awesome thing called commission, straight commission, okay? That means if you don't sell something, you don't get paid, okay? And my simple job today is just to kind of remind you that if you are a person like myself who runs your own business, um, there are going to be some lean times. There are going to be some times where you're going to be making money hand over fist. So I highly recommend that you put money away for it's like it is right now, a rainy day. Uh, so it came to my mind a little bit earlier because there was a, a I was supposed to, to have this uh, awesome sale. It's going to make about 10 grand on it and everything. And for some reason or another, the customer changed their mind and it fell through. So it kind of like put a kibosh on a couple of things, kind of mess you up in the head for a minute. But you know, if you're a salesperson, you've got to deal with these kind of things, these rejections, these issues, these problems. And that's what's life. It's everybody's life. But I just needed to, to share this stuff with you because a lot of times people think that if you're a salesperson, you know, all you're doing is just selling. No, guys, we're doing everything. We're marketing. We're out there learning about new products. We're learning about people who have other products who can replace us. And we have to learn about how to have conversations, selling conversations, dealing with different personalities, dealing with people uh, who, who change their minds, okay? We are also looking at vendors and companies and other corporations and people that we have to deal with. So if you are a salesperson, you know, this is what we deal with. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. Give me a thumbs up and share my videos because it makes the algorithm work and more people are able to see my videos. And please uh, subscribe. I like selling. It's like my life. I told you I would tell you the 
the good things, the bad things, and things that can be overwhelming when it comes to selling. But I love it. I've been doing it for so long. I've had some really great successes in my life, and I've worked with some great companies that are unfortunately no longer here. But old Gary Lee, because I learned the foundation, I learned the fundamentals, I learned how to work and live within my means mostly and be able to keep a career in sales and then uh, work multiple jobs now, multiple uh, streams of income. And I'm going to tell you what, it really works if you work it, but you got to live it. And it's a hard thing to do, especially when you start selling new products or you maybe have two different companies uh, in this regard. Because like I said, I recently got into insurance, uh, mortgage protection, life insurance and stuff like that because I'm already selling uh, houses. I had a more I have a mortgage license so it's kind of like it goes around in circles in this regard and I just wanted to be able to make money uh, in different avenues but I'm just beginning in a couple of things and when you're first becoming new and whatever your endeavors are it can be rough it can be tough it can be crazy and sometimes you, you can be broke you can be poor and uh, one minute you got a lot of money so make sure that when you're running your businesses that you put stuff away for a rainy day i really have to emphasize that because whoa you can sweat stuff and when you are uh, are frustrated you get this thing sometimes called uh, salesman's breath that makes you look as though you're you're rushing the customers you're 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 making the customer feel uncomfortable and they can see that that you're not actually in it for them you're in it for yourself you're trying to make money for yourself you're you're in it for yourself and so that's just the way reality works and so my simple job today was to share this stuff with you because I like making lots of money. I like working. I like making money. And, and somebody's asked me, when you're going to retire, I ain't going to retire, man. Shoot, I work in sales. I get to make money. And all I got to do is kind of figure out how to share my information and products with customers. And I get paid for it. it ain't like I'm out digging ditches and trying to do that. But you remember, guys, more the risk, more the pay. But remember, there's a lot of risk out there when you're a salesperson. Now, if you're fortunate enough, you work with a good company, uh, stick and stay for a while. Like I said, I've worked with some companies I was with for a long time and they're gone, okay? But I learned the fundamentals. I learned how to sell. I learned to ask questions. I learned how to ask good questions. I learned how to, uh, you know, market myself. I learned how to pay my bills. I learned how to, um, Make sure that when I needed to do something, it got done. Because you're self-reliant. You are a business owner. And if you're a salesperson, you may say, well, I'm not a business owner. I don't have a business. Oh, yes, you do. You really do. And your business is selling your product. And your product is whatever you sell. Now, if you're like me, you know, and you have multiple products and services that you sell, you've got to learn how to have you got to be able to just wave things off. You, I pray a lot. I'm talking to God. I lost a sale the other day. It was like a lot of money, and it was like God. I, I guess I have to accept the good with the bad, and and persevere. Okay. And I told you I'd share this kind of stuff with you. And don't feel sorry for me. You know, it's just the way it is. That's business. People change their minds, and things happen in people's lives. And right now, with the way things are going and everything, it's money is tight, and people are just trying to figure out what they can do with their money and get the best value for their money and i don't blame people i really really don't you know my name is gary lee stanley they call me the sales guy because i've been in sales and i love sharing and i have four other channels so you ought to check out my other channels and check out some of my other videos and make sure you subscribe and always give me a thumbs up if you like something because it really does get my videos out there i've got almost almost a thousand of them by now and i love selling i love everything about it even the stuff that sucks it gives me father and gives me information so that I can share it with you because if you're a real salesperson or if you're a brand new salesperson and you're just getting into sales uh, you're on for a ride Woo -hoo, baby you're on for a ride you know some people they get these regular nine to five jobs they work maybe four or five years ten years and they never get a chance really to make any real amount of money now if they have a college degree yeah they might get lucky make 40 or 50 or sixty thousand dollars a year 
or more, but it's like when you're a salesperson, we make the world go around. Uh, we make things happen and we can put ourselves in better positions on how to make more money. Like I said, I got some friends of mine that are in the real estate business that are kicking butt and making a whole lot of money. I got friends of mine that are in the insurance industry and they're kicking it and they're just living large. Okay, but see, sometimes it takes a while for you when you first start any venture for it to become valuable. And here's the kicker, guys. You've got to put money out there a lot of times, a little bit of risk. That means you've got to buy leads. You've got to go knock on doors. you got to put yourself in an uncomfortable position to be able to be a productive salesperson. I mean, it just really is. And when you're an entrepreneur or a business person, you've got a lot of stress. You've got a lot of struggle. you got a lot of people pulling at you. You've got your family and friends and people will say, and now why are you doing that you shouldn't do that but don't listen to them be do whatever makes you feel good inside and as long as it's not a, a bad thing it's a good thing what i'm sharing with you and always be polite and treat your customers kindly like i said you are going to have some really really good days you're going to make some money on it and then you're going to have a few of those days that suck you're going to have some customers who drop the ball on you who text you and say i'm not interested i decided i changed my mind okay and so you just got to get out there and keep sharing you got to keep selling and don't ever give up like i said I love selling. Um, I don't know of any other job that you get a chance to just talk to people about what's important to them, what's what their needs are. I mean, really. And life insurance, I help people. And what's so cool about that is and with mortgage protection, it's like money in the bank. Everybody's going to die, you know. And everybody needs somebody to help them with the difficult process of talking about death okay and that's what i do and i love working with people who deal with real estate because everybody needs a place to live and you've got to teach people about the fundamentals about how to save money how much money to put here and, and you know and 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 as an i'm a notary too okay guys i just picked that one up here recently because a lot of people need documents and things signed so i'm always remember looking for different streams of income to be able to make my life even better and i like I said I'm not done yet I'm trying I'm working hard um, like I said recently within the last few years I changed up everything and got these new licenses new certifications there for the longest time I was set in one location one place and was doing one thing and then I got this wild hair one day thinking man I can do more <laughs> I can do more I can do better I'm what they call a renaissance man yeah okay a renaissance that sounds funny but that means I've got I'm doing doing a lot of different things to make myself more successful and you too could be a renaissance man woman whatever but what i'm sharing with i know it sounds like a weird thing but I, i'm not satisfied and if you're not satisfied you should go ahead and try your hardest now remember you will have good days you will have some days you wish you would have stayed in that bed. And then some days you're just going to say, why in the hell did I get it in this business? But see, here's the thing. I love it. If you love what you do, it's not working. And to me, it's really not working. You put me in front of a, a good customer. Now, a good customer is somebody who can buy my product, of course. A good customer is somebody who, who has the means to afford my product and has an inkling that they need my product. And if I can give them a good presentation, I generally close pretty, pretty doggone often. You know, I'm not going to say I'm perfect, and I do a lot of cold calls. I go knock on people's doors. I get these leads, this list. I mean, I got lists of leads, and I go knock on their doors. I may have picked them at the wrong time, or maybe they weren't there, or their significant other said no, and blah, blah. But you know what? It's a numbers game. The more people I talk to, the better it is because you got to put it out in the world whatever you put positive out in the world it comes back to you now it's a struggle sometimes but boy when you get paid oh boy it feels so good and it feels good when you close the sale i didn't say manipulate people always be honest period i don't want to lose my soul 
over no money, honey. So always be honest and be in it for the customer. And the more people that you help, like Zig Ziglar says, more money will come back to you. It's just the way it works. But you got to work it. But live within your means, guys. Things change. Things evolve. We go to new ventures, new companies. But don't give up on the career sales when things aren't perfect. So do me a favor. Go out there and sell something. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. And today we just had a simple conversation about selling and multiple jobs and what you should do. Okay. I hope you got a little bit out of this. Do me a favor. Go out there and sell something. All right. Got more than one job. Okay.